I saw this in theaters. This might be my favorite movie of the year so far, and I can't give it above a zero. <laughs> We're going to be rotating through the co-hosts here, picking movies to watch. Jake is starting us off with the inaugural episode, and then we'll just go through for forever until one of us quits the show. Probably so we made. were going to decide the order via game, but then Mub was like, I can't think of a movie, so we made him go last. Does that say, wow, this movie already sucks. It looks like Put it's... white text over oh, white. white. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's logos from like a 90s movie. I don't think there is a Plymouth Island. Oh, it's... Digimon Horseman! It's a bird. Stationary? Is this a fishing movie? No. It's many kinds of movies and fishing is one of them. Yeah, Old Man in the Sea is actually a really good book, though. Sir, we paid you 700 bucks for this. Bitch, we paid you 700 plus gas. How many times do you say we pay you $700 in this one scene? That's how you catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wide cut to it being very calm in the ocean. What kind of test does he have that it doesn't snap? How long has he been fishing this one fish? It's uh, been like... Hours. Time has passed. Are they on the boat anymore? Yeah. Look at how sweaty he is. Ugh. Movie's over. They're all asleep. Yeah, wait, how long has it been? That's a terrible time passage. Shouldn't you tell me you're the one who's seen this movie? I... It was too good to remember. You think we're gonna pay you a fucking single dollar for this fiasco? They said they paid him. You're out of your fucking mind. We paid you $700. Do you think we're going to pay you? I hope Matthew McConaughey just stabs them. And then... And then Jared Fogle shows up. Equally as much of a child predator as Jared Fogle. I'm pretty confused already. What well, was confusing? It was so cut and clear. I actually, yeah. No, I agree with Ian. This he is... wants to catch a fish, and it doesn't establish why. I'll pay you. Okay? Yeah? Oh. I will fuck you into ass. Oh my god, I was right. So he's a prostitute. No, they women are just, they just like him in this movie. Oh, Why? okay, well it said, I'll pay you. How? Matthew... Hard cut to sex. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is like an old alcoholic dad. Why do women like him? Yeah, you're trying to form a connection between the scenes when you watch it. I'll just fuck this woman to pay you. <laughs> That's what I thought was happening. That's what I thought. He is a prostitute. No, he's asking her for money. You're no more than a hooker. Hooker who can't afford hooks. What a golden nugget of dialogue. This is just a prequel to the beach bum. Prove me wrong. I know you just got dressed, but let's get undressed and fuck again. Hey. I know something about this movie, and all I can think about is that while watching this, and I don't see how it makes any fucking sense. Nothing makes sense so You're far. gonna watch the movie and then go, yeah, I still feel the same way. <laughs> Can't afford my boat, but I can afford some whiskey. You know, there's like a lot of fish in the sea, and like, I know that's an expression, but there's also actually a lot of fish in the sea. Oh, did you want horseman? He's a janitor. So he's a helpful black guy in a movie where the lead is a white guy. You know what those are called? Magical Negroes. What happened to the lawyer? He's in jail for touching kids. Feel it in my hand. Who's he talking to? His kid. Where? Uh, he's talking to the cup. It's metaphorical. Oh, I get it. Me and Dad, back then. Before, Audience. You know, then. Before he was a raging alcoholic. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Maybe this is a masterpiece by accident. No, it's not. Uh, I believe what Ian said. Definitely like an island. Yeah. Yeah, but where? Oh, he's the rapist. Someone's tailing me, very obviously. Tailing me from a bus. He's got a really nice boat for somebody who's poor as fuck. I can't afford gas, yeah. but I can afford to eat a coconut at a rock every day. Oh, you this is the trailer truck. Remember when we saw the trailer the first time and we all went, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? What's this movie even about? And now that you're at that point in the movie, what are you feeling? What, what the, the fuck's fuck? this movie even about? This movie feels like it's about a man trying to come to terms with the fact that his son is dead by catching a fish. Maybe because him and his son bonded over fishing. Also, his wife, this is based off the trailer, wants him to kill... Her new husband? I'd say that that's probably the A plot and the B plot of the movie. Why they I know they're not. No, that that's a reasonable assumption to make, as any regular human would think that this movie is about. Based on what I saw in the trailers and what I've seen so far. So I but the sad part is, I know something. I have a question. Why don't they just, like, catch more than this one fish and sell them? Fish bite at hooks, not just this one fish bites at hooks. Well, according to what if he accidentally catches another fish? Does he just throw it back? Like, eh, I don't want this one. In your head. That's how you know she's nice married. Nice Adobe After Effects. That flashed like five times at the camera. Oh, oh. yikes. I'll get that. <laughs> Worst actress in the movie. Royal engagement. Oof. I'll get that. Daddy. How many Anne Hathaway movies have you guys seen? I can only name like four. She's know. in The Dark Knight Rises, right? I was, yeah, she's Catwoman once. Um, I've seen both Princess Diaries. Don't ask Both me. Princess Diaries. I've seen the first one. Um, That's Sandra Bullock. That's Sandra Bullock. <laughs> That's Sandra Bullock. I know that feeling. If you could feed my husband to that fish you're chasing, 
That'd be ideal. Oh, see, that'd be a great climax of the movie. He kills him, uses him as bait, catches the fish, gets a lot of money from it, and Mm -hmm. then he has to live with the guilt of killing a man. This movie could be great. I know it's not, but it could be. (laughs) There's a lot of ways that you could make a movie. A very compelling character drama about grief. It definitely wants to be that. I see it. I can see it in here. It's not gonna be that. You'd need to tone down the heavy-handed shit, like, I'm searching for justice. He just happened to pick a name out of his ass that happened to be metaphorical to what the fish is. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call it justice, because it's more like him trying to get over his grief. The fish is called the five stages of grief. (laughs) I mean, his boat's called Serenity, because that's what he wants. Because he's at peace when he fishes, yeah, this is, uh, pretty subtle. You can tell they're not even, like, actually anywhere, because it's just so dark behind them that there's no detail. And how's my son with that, Karen? Oh, his son's alive. Yeah, it's awake. He jerks off to Pornhub. (laughs) In the most inconspicuous blanket. Is he playing a fishing game? Yeah, because him and his dad loved fishing so much. Oh, Predator's gonna steal his autism. Yep. I was thinking the same thing. Straight out of his spine. That's where it's stored. Right in the autism, in the The spine. The autism's stored in the balls. Ten million dollars. Cash. How the fuck does she have ten million dollars? Her husband's... In the Cuban mob, she's oh, okay. established at this scene. But that doesn't just go missing. Now, I kind of agree with Jake. Like the mob's gonna ask questions if one of their like members dies and then ten million disappears. She's not thinking that far ahead. The movie's not thinking that far ahead. The writers aren't thinking that far ahead. Mr. Dill, I just need a few minutes of your time. Do you have any kids? Why did he wait all day to go see this guy? He was right next to that guy when he tailed him on the bus somehow. Yeah, like, what the fu- Who is this fucking asshole? Ah, uh, more plowing. She just takes her pants off and walks <laughs> over to him. Ah, uh, some Matthew McConaughey ass. Where are you going? Take a shower. I'll join you. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay, it'll stop. Okay. Take a shower in the salt water. <sighs> I'm naked, son. What's up? It smells like Teen Spirit album cover. 30 years later. <laughs> son, you know I'm naked right now, right? So am I, dad. I'm beating it to porn up in my blanket. I'm, like, disturbed by this scene. I don't... Oh, <laughs> You can boy. see the outline of it. Where's Dozer? <laughs> That's the entire thing. It's his whole peener. Son, let's naked swim together. No, don't, don't do that. I'm not watching Pornhub. How? I what is this? I was playing fishing games. How did that... Deadass, he's hiding fishing games from his parents. What? Why is he... Why is only that spot wet? <laughs> he spilled the water. I don't like how vaguely sexual this is. Vaguely? Overtly sexual <laughs> this is. That's his son. Is he Jared Fogle? I need more tracking shots of his head swiveling around him. It's fucking, um... Jason Clark. Pet Cemetery guy. Yep. I fucking hate this guy. He blows. Well, why don't you see him in three dimensions? He was also John in Terminator Genesis. Yeah, he was John Connor. He knows how to pick his roles. I paid a fucking jet for this. Let's let's lose the rope. Not even, like, sexy about it. <sighs> Dude, I've spent a lot of money to get here. I could really I use... I need to pipe. Is he going to eat her ass? <laughs> I hate that too. I'm like, let me eat that. He's inspecting the ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep, Let it, me inspect your ass. Yup, it's an ass. Inspector ass cheeks. Do, yep. do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm gonna sail away to somewhere where nobody knows your business. What name are you gonna use there? Serenity. Justice. Five stages of grief. Matthew McConaughey. Swimming naked with my son. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Can't afford to lose my license. We'll take the cock out of your mouth. Four years in a line. So Jason Clark sucks. He talks like a fucking college professor. He talks like a college professor and I sound like I'm retarded. He's doing an impression of like a douchebag without knowing what kind of douchebag he's doing an impression of. Not knowing he is a douchebag. (laughs) So, let's be here at seven. Just me, you, and the motherfucking tuna. This script is, uh, yeah. Ah, he flashed a gun and smacked her ass. Jump on the boat. That's the third time that you Why does he keep doing, like... You definitely could have stopped him and talked to him. There appears to be a 20-second discrepancy in my allotted schedule. Who are you talking to? The audience, duh. Uh, I'd say 110 pounds. Caught it off screen. Yeah, we gotta make screen time room for that guy talking about 20-second allotments. They're still going out after that fish that's in your head. You do know it's just in your head, right? Or you could catch that tuna that's in your head. Does the fish not actually exist? The no, concept fish, of fish doesn't exist. Does Even the, the guy who buys fish from him doesn't believe in fish. And they say he drew 10,000 in cash from the mercantile. I guess you want a piece of the action, huh? There's no way an island this small gave him 10 grand. He doesn't even have a bank account here. He hears you every time you talk to him. What? So they can telepath with each other, but only when they're naked. (laughs) Naked floating in water. Only when the sun's 
jerking off. Where's the guy? Is he gonna come running up? I can no longer see the good movie in this. It's it's just gone. Oh, it's long gone. There's the bird that doesn't move. The ever descending gallo. Fucking inserted still image into the shop. Couldn't just shoot a bird. They had to CG an entire bird. Not even stock and footage it looks like of a, a bird. Still image, yeah. I wish they put stock footage like with the watermark over it. I wanna remake this movie with what I suggested earlier. I'll remake it, but I'll just change the one thing, which is the stock footage of a bird with the watermark over it. Let's go inside. Let's toss a football around. Let's play some football like the men. Football. I football, like football. Football. This is the top company of men. companies. Football. He's not pressing enough buttons for it to go that fast. He was using his telekinesis. Says justice. You know what this little fucking retard's doing? Catching fish. What? Uh, and here you are. There's over an hour left. Dead ass. I thought it was in the third act. I'm You've sorry. Seen this. I've seen this. Oh, see, they are killing him. Oh no. Or did they? Because they fucking hard cut. Nope, he's still alive. Why do they shoot him in the back of the head right now? He gets sniped by the Jared Fogle looking fucker. He wants justice. Get it? Early to bed for you boys. School tomorrow. Tuna. T U N A. P U N A. Puna. Is he back? Wait. He was back on the beach where he started. Does he start there every day? He rises from the ocean every morning. Apparently. He's, in suit and tie. He's the aquaphile, Arthur <laughs> Curry. He fucks the children's fish. Except I didn't really ever come back. It's the speed. The car. You said, with a stupid ring, I be wed. I can imagine Matthew Gwena saying that. It was the shittiest fucking bullshit line and I fell in love that day. He's the- he, he looks like an alcoholic grandfather. His body is like Mick Jaggers. You will bring my son to me. I'm doing this for him, Patrick, my son, you and me. Yes, yes, we know it's your son. Thank you for reminding us. And I'm still the girl at the bridge. Is she like delusional? Yeah, but now he's fucking her in the oh. ass. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? That was like that well, was immediately. He's already in and finished. That was the hardest cut to ass fucking I've ever seen. Damaged in different places. What is that over narration? She was not moving her mouth. Was he finger? What, why? Hang on, he... let me get my one inch in there. Why is he eating her chin? You don't do that. That's hot. No. Yeah, he's done. I'm spent. 20 seconds, McConaughey. Way the that fucking That beats go. Tom Cruise. Look at that. He's even having a post-sex cigarette. I'm in San Diego. I don't know how bitches can't find her. She wears bright red all the time. Your mother says you can hear me when I talk to you. He's praying to his son immediately after piping his mom. Quite a bit unpleasant out here. Oh, you just missed me. I'm actually heading out. What I have in my hands may change your life and give you the one thing you've always wanted. Justice. It's a dynamite bomb. Can I get you some <clears throat> bigger hands? What's that? Uh, bigger hands. I wish I had bigger hands. You know hands on people? Yeah, I wish mine were bigger than that. Alright, have a great day, sir. It's all I want to talk to you about. Nice McConnor nipples. We saw his dick earlier. <laughs> what is this gonna be, his son from the future? That would be the worst thing ever. I'm declining to comment. Drink up. No, oh, thank you. I'm 11. Sonic Fish Finder. Sonic Fish Finder. <laughs> High tech for 2019. Looks like it made in the fucking 60s. I am the rules. You know what? Those are the rules. What was the rules? Remember the trailer had a big thing about rules. Yeah, you have to watch the trailer as like, uh, like a preamble, like a prologue, to understand anything. I'm just playing my part in the game. Don't you get it? What? Someone made the whole thing up. <laughs> blows. <laughs> There's a lot of movie left. Hold That's on. That's the thing. Hold yeah. on. So his son coded this guy? Yep. Coded the game. Everything that's happening is a video game. <laughs> so is his dad alive or not? Or is his dad Jason Clark and he wishes his dad was Matthew McConaughey? That rule is your compulsion, and your compulsion is a rule in a game. <laughs> Ergo, vis-a-vis, -vis concordantly. concordantly. It's even worse than I thought. The son has now reprogrammed Matthew McConaughey to kill his stepfather in the video game. And apparently the AI is alive because it doesn't want Matthew McConaughey to kill because that'll break the game. Oh my god. Jake? Matthew McConaughey is the one. Can I give him a score now? <laughs> I, so, I so feel like the Wachowskis directed this. I said that earlier as a joke. This is like the third Matrix movie and also Sword Art Online. This is the fourth Matrix movie. <laughs> he can't get up before five. He always leaves it low tide. Yep. Oh my god. You know how the Matrix trilogy descends in quality and it goes this down to like This would be a after the Matrix 4. After, so it's like a negative like 20. Replace the A, Mephortrix. <laughs> he programs Matthew McConaughey to have so much pussy. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, like, mm -hmm. he programmed his dad to have sex. Well, you don't know if it's his dad or not, oh, He right? programmed everything. More than once, or too. Or is it his dad? I don't even It's someone know. he wishes was his dad. 
Someone he wishes was his dad had sex three times. Once with his mom. Why is he thinking back to him being naked in Nirvana's album cover? Oh, he's so dirty if that's his shower. Oh, dude, it's the opening to Interstellar. Do you think he's gonna be the next Scorpion King? Uh, he's smaller and whiter. Remember me? No. Constance's kid? You have sex with my mom? What? Why are you in the movie? Remember that was set up earlier? Was it? Yeah, she mentioned him. That he's gonna run in the middle of a field? To Matthew McCain. Absolutely, word for word. Glad that was really part of the story here. You look just like your mom, come kiss me. He seems oddly okay with the fact that he's entirely in a video game. The video game is literally pleading with him not to kill. This sucks. Wow. This is my Fortrix. I didn't like it because I thought it was failing at what it was trying to do. No, it's now I just to... don't like it. I want to know why the game is trying to keep him from killing if Patrick programs the game and Patrick programmed him to kill. How much movie is left? Probably three hours at this pace. Now the rules have changed. Rules have not come up at any point in this movie prior, so it's not even foreshadowed. Nope. The only thing that was foreshadowed was him wanting to catch the fish named Justice because he wants justice, but he really doesn't. His son wants justice. His son wants justice, so he's programming him. But his son wants murder. He has a choice between justice or killing the guy, which is murder. But if you feed the guy to the shark and then catch the shark, you get both justice and murder? I'm really convoluted with the metaphor. I don't know what the fuck's happening. There's no metaphor. It's going to be boring. I don't think there is a metaphor. I think it's only trying to be a metaphor, though. That's the thing. And For I'm what? not even following it. Wait, does he kill his stepdad simultaneously to this? I'm guessing yes. He has really nice eyes. <laughs> yeah! What is this, the mummy trailer? Fuck my notebook. Yeah! <laughs> yes, more of that, please. I'm very engaged right now. It's hilariously bad, but it's still just bad. I agree with Ian. Joe with the Kennery says he sees you running naked in the mornings. What if he just goes on a massive murder spree? He's ran away with the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably gonna get naked and start running again. Now he's gonna drive. Well, they said there's only one cop. What if he just backs into the ocean? There's one cop on the whole island? Yeah, and he's away on vacation. They said that in the movie. If more than one person robs a bank, that cop is fucked. Who's the authority? We don't even know what country this is. Advocates for a car commercial, drinks and drives. I want to intercut the Lincoln commercial with him drinking and driving like a maniac right now. How did she sleep through a fight like that? They broke his hand. She wasn't programmed to wake up until 5 a.m. Oh, yes, daddy, I feel that. I'm, like, getting hard, and I don't want to get hard. <laughs> Shut your whore <laughs> Shut up, Ian. Ian. I don't want to hear about your goddamn erection. <laughs> Ever. For any fucking reason. She's, All right? She keeps saying, Daddy, Shut up. leave me alone. Shut up. He, he's brought it up so many times, too. Listen, buddy. Next time I won't say it like that, Mud. I'm sorry. I'll say it a different way, because I'm still going to say it. Don't say it ever. <laughs> How the fuck did you know I was here? How did he get there? He walked. From the ocean? Pedophiles can walk on water. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, priests skin, so... Yeah, same thing. So who's gonna deal his choice the first actually, like, good movie? <laughs> so in short, nobody knows anything. Mm. I feel like Matthew McConaughey is slowly dying as this movie keeps going. So he sits in front of his computer screen wishing he could bring his dad back so he could kill the son of a bitch. There it is. Yeah, that's... That's the plot of the movie. Th that's what this movie means. It's called Justice or something like that. I'm doing it. No, it's called Serenity. You dumb fuck. And he's gone. He hasn't been there the whole time. He's not real. They said it earlier. He was talking to himself outside in the rain. He is... A figment of Matthew McConaughey's imagination in a video game? That's right. I'm the rules. I am the rules, huh? That's why I can't wake up before 5 a.m. and can't drive through stoplights. Serenity, but he's playing Fortnite instead of fishing. <laughs> so let's get him on board before he changes his mind. Just shoot him in the head! John, you better not kill that man. You should get on board if we're gonna do this. Now, fishing is gay. I go to play football like men. Push him off right now. Oh, <laughs> he fell on his broken hand. Yeah, he did. Oh, oh you heard the bone snap? Here you go, Daddy. He did it, Daddy. Patrick programmed his mom to say daddy. Uh, uh, why did you say that? Please, understand these are good. I'm gonna introspectively monologue while staring at them from a football field away! Is that the same shot? <laughs> yes, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> now that you've I said that. I wanna die. How about your boy? Call you daddy too? Oh! Stop! Please, movie, what are you doing? Sharks are gonna come, my man. So am I, if you keep calling me daddy. Captain Famous Fish, of course. What? what? I figured it was last night's rum talking when you said you didn't need me. It was six in the morning. But I'm here to help. He snuck onto the boat? Oh, what if he catches the fish? Who oh, cares? baby. It's two feet under the boat. Just keep his mouth shut right now. No, no, no. 
that's not a good idea. I'm not doing that to the kid. It's a video game. There are no consequences here. Yeah, and McConaughey knows that. I can't go back to my life, John. I can't go back to my life. No. You don't have a life. You're a character in a video game. There's no tension here. It's justice. I can justice is here. I can tell it's him just by the strength of the rod. I knew it! I knew I'd bring you luck! I get he's a video game character, but you're a prick if you go, I bring luck wherever I go. <laughs> he went so fast! There isn't even a fish! He just goes straight down! Oh, he's dead. Okay, he killed his dad. He's got the mug. I think Charles Manson told him to do that. He programmed in the world's greatest dad mug to the video game. Thanks, daddy. Adrian! His mouth didn't move. Oh look, it's Serenity. Was killed in action in 2006. Irrelevant facts that are only important to the movie plot, not the actual news report. This doesn't matter. Why is this still happening in the movie? This, it's done. The deed is done. This is useless. It's all a video game. Holy fuck! I'm, I'm so confused. Why is this still going on? You said this was one of the greatest movies you've ever seen. Yeah, um... Do you stand by that? Upon rewatch? I I'm gonna let it finish and then... Oh, oh, oh yes, yes I do, I stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win? Neo or McConaughey? In McConaughey, this? he's McCona clearly immortal. Nobody knows anything. Yeah, that's how I feel after this movie. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> Fucking what? The writers are admitting that they're just full of shit. It's okay, you did the right thing. You killed a man. So I can come visit you sometime. I'm here, all right? He's gonna pro- Why didn't he ever program himself into the game at this point? That doesn't make any sense. And the movie. And the movie. The movie should have ended There's like one more shot I remember, and I want it. I think it's now. Is he gonna show up? <laughs> it is one of the reasons that I think this is one of the greatest things ever. Okay. Do they play chess? Oh, yeah, it's now. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna change the game. Ten. Solid 10. They use the fact that it's a video game to make an excuse for why nothing's rendered. You ever get really bored in GTA 5 and start following the traffic laws? Yes. So this, so yeah. your postulation here is that the kid got really fucking bored one day and made all of this movie? Our inaugural dealer's choice. I already have to suffer enough watching movies with you two. That's true. Is a hot, fresh... <laughs> Zero. <laughs> You're saying zero and ten simultaneously. Yes. So, Ian, now that we've rated this movie... What are we watching? What's next week? So, next week, we're watching a little film. It has some guys we know in it. It has some actual actors that aren't terrible. Um, came out in 2011. The first movie I'm picking is one of my favorite movies. Oh, for fuck's sake. Green fucking Lantern. Oh, no. <laughs> now, Mud, you've never seen it. No. Oh, and... my God, you've never seen Green Lantern? Ryan Reynolds... Taika Waititi, Blake Lively, uh, Blake Lively, yep, Michael funny. Clark Duncan, Mark Strong's great in the movie. He's actually oh, one of the God. best parts. I can't believe it. You said you'd pick a fucking good movie. I think it's it's my you second bitch. favorite movie of 2011. I don't know what you guys are asking me for. <laughs> Fuck you, Stephen Knight.